So I've heard this is like a Pardon six, the seven hour Smart. game. Yeah, we finished but two days ago. For them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey and the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, a loss became a threshold between the order and my own life, between duty and my dream to see dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing. It's really behind. low. <laughs> just an endless movie yeah. reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. Lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. <laughs> all good, man. All good. Thanks for joining us. Maybe, One actually, day. when we post this, uh, um, the playthrough on YouTube, it'll probably be done in, I like, see the June. Town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. Because we will be posting an episode, really like, every day. Chance of me ever getting home. From the main story to here. the first DLC to the second DLC. Just kind of spread it out so we have something to some content on our YouTube. But I mean, if you're welcome to get some first impressions. So Sam, I don't, I didn't really interact with him that much during the story. At least I don't really remember. But he's probably really significant in the books. So he has his own DLC. So let's play it. Oh, shit. Привет, Vladivostok. Now I can hear him. Oh, what? Oh. Sam has a good voice. I'm gonna bump up the voice acting. So I don't have to do it too much in post. Let's see. Sound. Voice. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Okay, so what are we rocking? We're rocking a... Oh my god, this has a drum mag? What is this? Look, 76 shots. And we got a shoddy. Oh, sick. Let's see, what's the uh, FPS? What are we getting? Not available. <laughs> it's not showing me. Okay. But if it's anything like the uh, main game, it's gonna run at a good, solid, at least 100 FPS. Okay. So I heard this was like a six to seven hour linear story, which I'm down for. Oh, I love the main story. Probably one of the, my favorite first-person shooters I played in a long time. Um, there's two endings. We actually managed to get the good ending, <laughs> even after kind of uh, accidentally killing some. Oh, I don't know what you call them. Slaves. Wow. Get lost, you idiots! In the beginning. I enjoyed it. Watch out, don't get hit. Okay, we got some bandits here. Don't fucking kill them. Shoot at night if you mind. I think there's a good and bad ending for this as well. What else would you have me do? I guess that's all. I'm not greedy. <laughs> don't worry, we ain't gonna kill you. The kingpin wants you alive. 
I think this is kind of mixed to be... <laughs> Let's turn up the volume here. And how do you know what he wants? Oh, a lot better. I have my sources! Oh shit. As for you, Friendly? My diamond, come on! Oh yeah, yeah, okay, it's red cursor. Show I think yourself. this guy's a good so person. We, go. oh, we got a Spooky knife. Much obliged! Hmm. You motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! <laughs> You're welcome to try it! I have enough ammo for all of you! Boys! Oh yeah, baby. I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Learn that from Hitman 3. Let's go. Alright! Oh shit. Oh my god, this is like finally in a game where Artem didn't speak at all, except during the loading screens, we actually have Sam talking. Because people would just talk to Artem for like five, ten minutes straight, and he'd just be like, <laughs> nothing. He wouldn't say a thing. And that kind of felt weird to me. Got you, you fucker! What the hell? You bastard! Why don't you take a dive? Hey, put your gun down. Hey, take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now. All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship right, that could take me take home. Take care. See you later. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Wow. Look at this This is a photo moment for sure. Look at this! I can't imagine without ray tracing. It's all just like pre rendered shit. <laughs> like, that's a pretty nice shot. Damn, that's cool. I like him inside the shot as well. A little bit of overhead. Like something like that. Beautiful. I'll take it. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Wow. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. What are we looking at? She's right over there. This thing? Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice take it home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. San America. Diego. Seriously. Talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu. Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me. The Batwing? What the? My God. Am I supposed to shoot that? Uh. Oh shit. You know what? I think we will shoot it. Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, I mean, it looks like a. Oh 
how am I supposed to how am I supposed to shoot a, a swarm of bats right there? Maybe with a shoddy. Maybe. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Let's heal up. How do you like a shoddy to the face? Oh, baby! How many times is this guy gonna get up? Peek me. Kind of weird though, the anime. Oh! Oh my gun! Ah, the trusty old knife. Don't tell me I lose all my shit. Oh my god, my all my stuff is gone. Med kit. Man, all my stuff. Got froggies. A lot of frogs. Oh, what the freak? Oh. Nice. <laughs> Am I poisoned? Okay. Let me go up here. Uh, let's see if we can go over here. Hmm. I didn't miss anything. Hands in the air! What the? <gasps> Come and take oh. it, you bastards! Come and take it! You're coming. Please. With us! Oh. Take him alive! Take this! Oh. Fuck off! Go to hell! Oh, I kind of wish there was some gameplay. Elements to this. <laughs> At least some like quick time event. I'll fucking kill you all. <laughs> what was a game that did really good uh, melee combat? Oh, here we go. Fucker. We need the captain. To come in clutch right now. Just tears out of my freaking face. Jesus Get off my kiss! Oh no. Here we go. Not so tough anymore, huh? Oh. See, now that's believable. If it was Artyom, not a word. Did you even swear when we <laughs> got him? <laughs> Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill you! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Oh, snap. Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen some too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? Hey, what's up, dude? Look, aren't you an American pal? <laughs> no, I'm a Buryat. <sighs> All right, you got me. I am an American. 
there you have it. No shit. Duh. <laughs> no wonder you gave us so much trouble before we nailed you. It's just not my day. Nimoy din sagudnya. Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey guys! Turns out we caught an American! We'd better call Cat now and report! Base, delivery here. Patch me through to Cat. I got news for you. Alright, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! What in the world? Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there. Do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge. Switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, are you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss! He swore like you on a bad day! Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow. Just... wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. No, we can't. Close enough delivery. Here, change the plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? Haha! <laughs> wow. Oh. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Ah, uh, I can't wait. More Metro. Look, it's the boss. Is that was a good thing. Is that him? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Well, hello there. Me. Why are you still tied up? Huh? A moment. Yes, boss. Shit, we pissed the cat off. We should have taken the rope off. Then we'd get chewed out for acting on our own. Yeah, there's just no making the cat happy. It's not our day. <laughs> okay. Let's see inside. Summary. Well, your highness, we've arrived. Come aboard. What's up? What's up? Ah, uh, walk. We're stuck in walking animation. Nice touch. I hear a little bit of the rain. USS 2036 Mayflower. Can we get a good shot of that? Can we like jump out of this? Oh, we can. Okay. Ooh. Probably want to be closer, right? Let's get closer. Like right. Yeah. It's like some Metal Gear shit. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I like something like... Something like this. It's not really well balanced. I can't really go higher than this. Kind of stuck. Um, there's only a certain range you can come out of your, 
get out of your character uh, and fly around. I think this is fine. It's kind of cool. All right, let's proceed. Serve electricity, my friend. You really should come on. Don't keep us waiting. I'm, ru I'm running. I'm literally holding shift. Damn, am I happy to see you. Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is this ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. <clears throat> Look, man. Uh, remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners. If you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. Hmm. Everyone has this By poster. By the way, Sam, this is Clint, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the Applied Force Department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Очень приятно, Клим. I'll take a seat. Clem's boys couldn't invite you what here at a better the time. The doctor flexed the wind somewhat, but still, just look at that. Yeah, had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> no, wait. Uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. This guy's too nice. Middle East, Afghanistan, and it's way Moscow. too nice to me. I was on the embassy guard a catch. detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. Uh, so you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? Uh, I'll drink my own. They don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> to our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Kurosho. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, what a show. ready to listen now? Hmm? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. 
Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, our enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How was he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Oh, God. Deal. Deal. Too good to be true. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. Oh, <laughs> that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Oh, baby. Uh, Klim, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. I hope there's some new guns we can play with. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should hmm. check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Spasibo. Spasibo. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Yeah. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Give me a. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. Give me a rifle. I prefer to strike Give me a sniper. <laughs> well, Maybe a pistol. Your choice. Thanks, Tom. All Guess right. I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave. Just leave. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's make sure that difficulty is hardcore. Because 